Yo, everybody. It's International Master Danny Wrench, and uh, it's a bowl of raw. You know what I'm saying? Because we can't stop. We can't stop. And we won't stop. It's amazing how similar I sound to Miley Cyrus, right? That's what you're thinking. Like, wow. He has a horrible singing voice, but he actually sounds very similar to the We Can't Stop. And we won't stop. And I blundered a pawn. It's not good. It's not good what's going on here. That is faux show. Blundered a pawn. Um, and possibly more now. But I'll go ahead and... Oh. Oh, what's going on here? It's really not good. Um, plus, I just feel like I'm... Not only am I blundering upon, I just I'm playing slowly, more slowly than would normally be preferred. So let's hope I can get some revenge against the infamous Thomas Rendell, known for his exploits on Hack Attack on Twitch. If you don't follow and watch the Hack Attack, I'm not exactly sure what I can do for you, other than suggest that you change these bad habits in your life. And that you begin to watch Hack Attack every Monday on Twitch. Chess Twitch, actually. Twitch.tv slash chess. Not trying to give a plug, though there's a little there's a little picture of him if you want to take a look at it. But if I was trying to give a plug, you'd know it. Alright? I'm just really just I've had many battles with Thomas, as many of you YouTubers know. Those of you who follow us regularly know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not really sure that was the best idea for Thomas, actually. Sort of a strange decision in my mind to play that way. But I guess I have to go down and what's he going to do? Oh, the main issue I feel right now is time. And that wasn't good for him either, was it? So we'll go ahead and make some fast moves here. And we actually somehow came back and won that game. How exactly did I do that? I'm not totally sure. But his name is Thomas Rendell, and maybe maybe this time he'll let me play my Night Orf. My Night Orf being uh, the main Sicilian I try to play, or will he play a closed Sicilian? Who knows? Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, he plays an anti-Sicilian. Like many of his fellow countrymen, those Englishmen love themselves a good anti-Sicilian. that sound racist to you? I'm not racist, I'm a chessist, all right? And when I say things like that, it's almost always true because certain cultures, over time, it just tends to happen that way, tend to prefer certain openings and certain weapons. It's sort of funny. And the reason for that, maybe it's because certain players in history started playing them and so everyone else just kind of started copying and they sort of were maybe the, some of the stronger players in the area, so they obviously had influence over what everybody else might start to play. So this sort of thing happens over time. But, okay, I'm not exactly sure that I, after being totally winning in the last one now, I'm sort of messing up a winning position here today. Although, can he really do this? Look at this. This is like, this is like, can't stop, we won't stop. Miley Cyrus style. That's what it is. It's can't stop, we won't stop. Right now I'm just going to develop a little bit of a mating attack and, and hope that that ends up being enough to bring home the business. Oh my gosh, oh, look at this. Look how badly we're both playing right now. <laughs> uh, I'm just completely winning in that position, of course. Up, up more than a piece. Really up, up everything. Up, up the lifeline, as they say. But, okay, now we have to come back and defend against this B7 thing coming, but not right away. We will do this first and then take, and then somehow, some way, we're actually not in the worst shape possible. Not exactly sure how that happened. Not exactly sure how that happened here, but it did. And so, oh no. Well, now we are in the worst shape possible. So you went from winning to losing to nothing. 
Okay. Wow. Well, horrible chess by both of us right now. Instead of worrying about the history of the Englishman, I should probably focus a little bit, huh? That was pathetic. What what am I doing? I'm up I'm up a million pieces and their friends just with a crushing position. I'm sure there was something concrete too. Yeah, Thomas makes a comment in the chat. Rather odd first two games. Now say it in an English accent. Rather odd first two games, yeah? Right, and do it. Rather odd. It's not clear what we're doing here. Right. Do it. Love it. Play G4 and get some. As my as my buddy and uh you know my hero, my chess hero, Hikaru Nakamura taught me. G4, get some. Not even sure that that really has any truth, but I like to think I learned every I learn everything from Hikaru. I'd like to think that. If he puts his nine enough two, he'll lose a piece, so I think he just slightly miscalculated that. I'm actually totally willing to double the pawns. It's not a problem, believe it or not. Because now he's getting his knight trapped. And completely lost. So uh, that's fun. That's all she wrote right there. Big time advantage too. Well, not all that all not all that she wrote as far as Thomas is concerned. But that's okay. We'll play on. We will play on and trap all of his pieces and do so with funsies. Funsies. This is not a fun position for him. And that is Bo for show. Whatever happened to Bo, by the way? Right? Anybody else wonder what happened to Bo? A born Bostonian, Aryan librarian of the word Smithsonian. I'm not exactly sure what happened to him. Uh, I can do a number of things here. Up two pieces for fun. Oh, I meant to put Rook G4 check and then trade. Well, that's that's a best two out of three if we're calling the bull ball right there, as I would normally do old school style. But these days, everyone gives feedback and says, hey, Danny, right, how about make it best of five, love? Right, do it. Well, I'm going to play a best of five because that's what everyone wants and that's what everyone's going to get. Thomas says, hey, I record and you take advantage of me recording and play. You better keep playing me. Well, your wish is my command. Thomas. So, we shall do it. We shall be free. All right. This is all the business these days. Not really. But I like to say the word all the business because it's fun. Well, um, I have the bishop on b7, which I kind of like, but I don't really have a lot else going for me in this position. So indeed, he's going to play this way, and I'm going to try to trade off the knight. Well, can I play f6? I guess I kind of can. And maybe I can even play knight f5 and get him to trade and then take everything. So, this is what we'll do. A little bit worse here for sure. Oh, maybe I'm a lot worse here after that move. Not totally happy with that, but at least I have a chance to challenge the C file. And I shall do it. Okay. What exactly can I do here? I guess I can play G5 and his queen is trapped. At the very minimum, I probably could have done this before, and I wasn't really thinking about it. Given that the 7th rank is indeed guarded, we will keep his pony at bay. Come bring the queen back. Prepare to bring our knight in to e6 to go after the d4 pawn. But I have a much bigger goal in mind, of course, and that is to go to f5 and trap the queen, which he did not see coming. And with it, 
should be a good victory for me. If it wasn't for the time, I would be so sure of it. Oh no. I'm moving as fast as I can and my mouse is jumpy. Oh my gosh. That it's frustrating when that's the worst kind to lose on time because you're winning the entire time and it's just basically and it's just basically literally that your mouse can't handle what you're doing and that's that's just like it makes you angry. I'm not going to lie, it really does. It makes you incredibly, incredibly angry when that happens. And angry, you know, in the sense that, okay, we're playing chess for a living. So let's, let's, uh, let's consider what's really going on here, especially now that I'm probably going to lose this two out of five, three out of, oh my gosh. And that was a game where, you know, I'm winning from start to finish with no exceptions about it. Frustrated I am. Really irritated. I couldn't move fast enough. Well, we'll play this way. And we'll guard. And we'll play h4. And we'll move the queen. We'll move the queen again. Avoid the queen trade. We shall. Uh oh. It's going to trade off my light square bishop. And with it, my last real chance is at swindling him. So that's frustrating. Ah. I actually didn't even mean to do that. Well, somehow I made it sort of semi-interesting here, but of course, not really. The only semi-interesting part about it is that I haven't lost on time just yet, given how badly the last couple games went. Oh, mouse. I meant to go to H1. Well, that's it. We'll call it. And we will call it in a uh, horrible, horrible fashion to have lost best of five in this one. Well, sometimes the dice rolls that way, and you can't move fast enough, and uh, and so you lose. You lose on time. No excuses, right? Got to bring your A game or bring don't bring it at all, right? As Miley Cyrus would say, bring BYOB, bring your own um, barbecue, because she would never be involved with anything else. Thank you, everybody. Follow me on Twitter, and we'll see you around on chess.com.